My face is definitely moisturized and very protected. 안녕하세요, Kim in Korea, Park Kimi Imnida. Hi, this is Kimi Park from Kimi Korea, and today we're gonna be unboxing some sun creams from the Beauty of Joseon. Beauty of Joseon in Korean is called Joseon Minyo. Joseon is a historical period, and Minyo means beauty. Mi actually means beauty, and Nyo means woman. So the word Minyo can just mean beauty, but it's also a noun for a beautiful woman. And I'm also gonna be trying some samples. I bought those at the Beauty of Joseon store here in Seoul. I also made a vlog about it, the link is gonna be in the description. All of the sunscreens are SPF 50 plus and PF plus 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 plus. Four pluses. <laughs> First we have the serum, Insan Sun Serum, the Ginseng Moist Sun Serum. Then the sun cream, Malgun Sun Sun Cream, Sun Relief, Rice and Probiotics. This one also comes in a double pack. And the sun stick. Sandulsuk sun stick. Mate sun stick, mugwort, and camellia. Now let's try them on, shall we? Okay, so I just washed my face and applied some toner. And before to try on the sun cream, I have some samples that I'm gonna try. The first one is the glow serum with about 60% of propolis extract and 2% of niacinamide. So it's not sticky. It doesn't smell of anything. Am I glowing already? <laughs> it is ever so slightly sticky, just a tiny bit. Not to the point that it's actually annoying. Mm. All right, next we have the Revive Serum with 63% of ginseng root water and 3% of snail mucin. Snail mucin is actually quite common in K-beauty. I haven't really seen that so much in Europe. It's slightly colored, I think it's because of the ginseng. I mean, every time I think I'm, a, I'm applying a little bit too much, it's supposed to be just one or two drops, but... Okay, all right, and after the Dynasty Cream with 29% of rice bran water and 2% of squalane. Consistency is very like nice and soft. So none of these products have a particular smell because there's no perfume. Ginseng normally smell very strong, but it didn't have a particular smell. So they're very odor neutral for people who like that. All right, my skin is serumed, moisturized, and ready for some sunscreen. Let's start with the serum. My issue is always with the serums is that it's called serum. So I don't really know if you're supposed to put it under your moisturizer or after moisturizing. However, as you are supposed to reapply anyway, I'm just going with the idea that it goes on top of the moisturizer. And as far as I can tell, the difference between a serum sun cream and a normal sun cream is the fact that a serum sun cream is just a lot more lightweight. This one smells stronger of ginseng than the serum, but the smell is still not super strong. It does tingle a little bit around the eyes. I know you're not supposed to put sun cream around your eyes, but I always just want to put something. And so I'm always looking for a sun cream that doesn't, you know, tingle. I've also tried just here where I don't have any cream and it absorbs very quickly. It's not greasy. You can't smell it anymore and it's not shiny. Moving on to the famous sun cream. This sun cream came recommended by my favorite skin expert YouTubers. Oh, my favorite sunscreen, which is the Beauty of Joseon. The Beauty of Joseon. The Beauty of Joseon. Beauty of Joseon. I'm sure that you guys know this, but we are always supposed to apply two finger lengths worth of sun cream for a whole face. It doesn't really smell of anything. It doesn't seem to make my eyes tingle too much. It absorbs fairly quickly and there is no white cast. It's not sticky and no smell. <laughs> And to finish, we have the sunstick. Sunstick are very practical, not so much for the first application of sun cream, but to retouch during the day. This one is supposed to be matte and it's supposed to be easy to apply over makeup. This is the full length of the stick. Again, no smell. Okay. So if I apply some here on my arm, it's definitely matte, it's not sticky. You can feel that there is a bit of a product, but it's not greasy or anything. So yeah, it seems to be quite easy for reapplying. 
Now the reveal test would be trying it over makeup because this is the reason I bought it. I have so many layers on right now. Yeah, my face is definitely moisturized and very protected. So these are just my first impression of these products. I hope that you found this video useful. If so, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. And in the meantime, have a lovely day. Bye.